Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the look that I created for this Onam season. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. I'm gonna be applying the MAC Strobe Cream as a base for my makeup to get a glowy and dewy finish. And I'm spreading it all over my face with my fingers and then massaging it well into my skin. I'm applying the Fasali Liquid Glass only on the high points of my face to further enhance my glow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Next I will be applying this Fasali Skin Tune Blur only on the areas where I have uneven skin or open pores. This very beautifully smoothens your skin and gives you a very blurry effect and the makeup glides on really smooth after applying this. Now I'm using a peach corrector from LA Girl on the places where I have a little bit of pigmentation. I have slight pigmentation and that's why I'm using a peach. If you are someone who has much darker pigmentation then please go ahead and use an orange corrector. A corrector will prevent your foundation from turning grey so please don't forget to use a corrector if you need one. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation today. This is a beautiful foundation. It gives you such a beautiful glow to your skin and it's not full coverage at all. So it's not at all cakey on the face. This is perfect for someone who likes sheer and dewy coverage for the skin. I'm going to be using two concealers today. One concealer is exactly the shade of my skin and I'm using it to hide the pigmentation on my face that is under my eyes, around my mouth and also a little on my chin and I'm blending it out really well. So the next concealer is for highlighting. Now this concealer is actually 2 to 3 shades lighter than my skin tone and I'm using it only on the centers of my face that is uh, in the middle of my nose, on my forehead, a little on my chin and also a little under the eyes. Highlighting your face gives you a proper definition for your features so don't skip this step. Now to set the concealer in place, I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder using a flat brush and tapping the extra powder under my eyes and also the areas where I have highlighted. Now let's move on to contour. So I'm using a powder which is 2 to 3 shades darker than my skin tone to define the already existing shadows on my face. I'm going to be contouring on the sides of my cheeks, on my forehead and also with a smaller brush I'm going to be contouring the sides of my nose to define its shape. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be prepping my eyes by using a concealer and then setting it with the Easy Bake Loose Powder. This way I'm creating a base for my eyeshadows to stick on so that it will stay much longer. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Gemstone Obsession Palette for today's look. Taking this yellow shade, I'm applying it on the crease of my eyes using a fluffy brush. Next, to create a depth on my crease, I'm taking this brown shade with a smaller definer brush and applying it right on the center of my crease. To blend everything further, I'm going to be taking a plain crease brush and blending in all the colors together. Now to intensify the outer corners of the eyes, I'm taking this dark brown shade from the same palette and applying it on the outer V of my eyelid. Now to blend in all the colors, I'm using the same crease brush that I used earlier to blend in all the colors seamlessly. Now taking in the same yellow color with a smaller brush, I'm going to be applying that color right on the starting of my eyelid that is the innermost part of the eyelid and I'm going to be blending it slowly. Please don't take a lot of pigment and then try to blend it because this will create a lot of fallout. Build the color slowly. Now comes the shimmer part, I'm going to be taking this color from the palette and applying that shade only on the center of my eyelid using my fingers. I'm using my fingers because 
Shimmer works really well with fingers rather than applying it with a brush. Now to blend the shimmer and the existing yellow color seamlessly, I'm going to be taking that same yellow color and diffusing the harsh edges of the shimmer. Now to highlight it even more, I'm taking this lighter shimmer in the same palette and applying it little on the center. Now I'm applying a gel eyeliner and I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner today. Do the wing as thick or thin as you prefer and I'm going to be taking a subtle wing eyeliner look today. Don't forget to bring it to the lower lash line as well. Now using a definer brush, I'm going to be smudging the lower lash line. Next, I'm moving on to mascara and I'm taking the mascara from Maybelline and applying lots and lots of mascara on my lower lash line. Now for eyebrows, I'm using this MAC Eyebrow Pomade and I'm applying it with a flat brush. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like the video and comment below if you have any queries. Now to highlight the inner corner, I'm going to be using this lighter gold shade of the palette and applying the color right on the inner corner of my eyes. Now moving on to the face, we are going to be using a blush from MAC which is called Gingerly. This is a light brown blush which is so beautiful on the skin and it goes perfectly well with a shimmer eye. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using this highlighter from MAC which is a beautiful highlighter especially for Indian skin tone. It has both silver and gold dust to it and it's super beautiful for this festive season. For lip liner, I'm using the Pat lip liner today which is super creamy and it's also a very good idea to define your lips before applying the lipstick to maintain its shape. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick today. It is a matte formula and it lasts very very long. But make sure that you apply a good lip primer underneath to prevent drying of your lips. Now I've applied some false eyelashes. You can also use lots and lots of mascara instead of the eyelashes. Now to blend in everything together, I'm using a setting spray from Too Faced Cosmetics. You don't have to exactly use the same products what I have used to get the similar look. You can do with whatever you have at home and that is easily accessible to you. So that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.